three creative ideas to be even more creative. Combines the power of the mind with the wisdom of your heart and it just helps you to unlock your potential. Hey everyone, welcome to my Shiny Minds shop. Hello everyone, my name is Shiny Bujun Sal. I am the proud creator of NeuroShine Technology, an ICF certified NLP and coach trainer, an ICF certified coach, and a leadership professor at UCLA Extension. Today, I want to talk to you about creativity. Because, you know, creativity is a very advanced, high level function of your brain. And in order for you to be more creative, you need to let go of the known. If you are someone like me, who is doing a lot of analysis, a lot of strategy work, a lot of calculations, then of course you're using more of your left part of your brain and that can limit your creativity. The way you need to expand your thinking and move towards your right part of brain requires different activities. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. If you're ready, let's go. Number one is uplifting music. And here is a little creativity around it. Your uplifting music is not only the rhythm and the tempo of the music, it's the lyrics of the music that also makes the change for you. When the lyrics go into your brain and when they tell you that you are awesome, you are amazing and you are powerful, when the lyrics give you that kind of messaging, guess what? It taps into that right brain of yours and it opens up your way of looking at everything and perceiving everything in a different way. And that has something to do with you choosing the music and choosing the lyrics of the music in a way that is going to help you to become more creative. Number two is your favorite time of the day. This can be missed easily because timing of your life is so subtle because you go from this activity to the other. And if you don't know a lot about yourself, if you don't have your favorite time of the day yet, you'll never think about this. You will sit down and you will wait for creativity to knock on your door, but it may never happen. Why? Because your existence and your brain might have that certain time of the day to be more creative. Maybe you're more creative in the mornings or maybe you are more creative in the evenings. How do you know? You need to measure. So you need to understand and get to know yourself a little bit more so that you can definitely block that time, your favorite time of the day, to really go into different places and become creative. My third idea is converting elements to each other. What do I mean by that? For example, when we go into the world of neurolinguistic programming, we are going to talk about five senses. And when you convert one sense into another, guess what happens? Oh my God, I just love the smell of the wind. You're like, smell of the wind. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Or you can say, oh, it was a delicious moment. Or you can say, oh my God, it was an amazing look on your success. So those are the things that you can mix and match as an example when you are creative, especially if you're a creative who uses words, who uses language to be more creative. You can take one thing and convert it into other and you can mix and match different objects with other different objects and you can definitely tap into some other creative people and learn from them so there you have it just three ideas to be even more creative i hope you liked it if you like it please put a like on it and share it with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel shiny minds show is brought to you with a lot of love so that you can maximize your true potential and together you and I, we can make this world a better place with a lot of love and shiny minds.